So what's it like living out in the country and in a house that's only halfway finished? Well, I'm gonna try to get a consensus based on everybody's opinions in the family. Hey Alex, what do you like about living out in the country? Um, I like seeing wild turkeys and wild animals when we're going up in the mountains. And I like p feeding the pigs. Hi Lizzie. Hi. <laughs> Lizzie, what do you like about living out in the country? It's quiet. The whole entire country is just farmers, and all of it is just far. Almost all of the stuff in our neighborhood has a farm. Everybody. I see a lot of tractors. <laughs> yeah, it's really quiet, and I like like everybody seems like closer. Like we're all family instead of just neighbors. We always see wild deer, and even at stores, one time we saw a bunch of deer at the Fat Boy Factory. <laughs> That's our favorite ice, ice, cream. Ice, ice cream factory, huh? Okay, Banjo, do you like living out here on a farm? Yeah. What do you like about it, sweetie? Mm, about trees. Leaves and uh, wood. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like hammy? <laughs> hammy. Hammy. <laughs> One of the first things that I noticed when we came out here was that I can actually see the stars at night, and it just about. I was almost speechless. I love living in the country for a billion reasons. I like being able to see really far without having any houses in my way. Being able to appreciate the surroundings that we live in. When we lived in the city, all the houses were in the way. You could hurt, you could only see like one part of the mountains. We look out that window like every day. And another thing I do not miss is the traffic. We lived on three streets before we moved here, like a peninsula of streets around our house. All right. Is there anything that you wish was different about living out in the country? Or um, something that you miss about the city? Um, I miss about living in the city? Yeah. Um, mm, I don't know. I wish we still had Puffy Head. Oh, our, oh, yeah. our chicken? Mm -hmm. The reason we don't have Puffy Head anymore, and that was a Polish rooster, is because our neighbors in the city, who were about 20 feet away from us, back door to back door, complained. And rather than make enemies, we sold Puffy Head. <laughs> Are you glad that we can have more chickens now? I wish we still had Puffy Head. And I want a pool for my kids. It's nice not having to wait like t 20 minutes to get to the store in the city. Oh. You just go and you go walk down the street and, there, and then you're at the store. Yeah. But that, but I don't really, really miss that. I don't think there's anything I miss. I miss our house because it was all old fashioned and cool, but that was it. Yeah. Mm. I'm just gonna have one baby. Mm -hmm. You want me to have a gun? Okay. Well, if you're gonna have twins. Okay. Do you miss living in the city, Everett? Mm -hmm. I miss the Logan house because it was tiny. Yeah. Because it was tiny. Because I was a baby. It was and it was cool. What and the what? attic. Was we were all up there. And I don't miss anything about the city. Do you want it to be a pink house? 
<laughs> Is there anything that you miss about the city, about living in the city? Our trees, that's it. It's nothing to do with the city, though. <laughs> and a beautiful garden. Yeah, but it was an annual garden, so it would have died and I would have had to build it again, so it's not like something I couldn't do here. Um, Oops. So, yeah, just the trees. But we bought that property with zero trees. So, in 10 years, we'll have, well, less than 10 years. We're already, we're already on three and a half years in, so. There's that. What are some of the good things or bad things? about living in, in a house that's not finished, that we're working on? Hmm. The bad thing is that people think that we're creeps. <laughs> Some people. And the good thing is that people know what we're doing and they understand how awesome it is to have an awesome house. Do you think it's awesome? Yeah. What do you like about it? Awesome. I like it that it's gonna be tornado proof and half of it is awesome. already. Yeah? What do you not like about it? Um, that it has the art room on it. That, that what? The art room. <laughs> what about it? Um, it's ugly. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't like it that it the insulation uh, makes it not look like a real house. Yeah. Well, our house is always dirty because there's always like drywall and dirt all over the floors because we just like broke down a certain wall or something. But yeah, that and that's probably it. But. I, I, I don't mind it. I think it's kind of cool because when you're bored and you don't know what to do, you just go, hey, I'm going to go hammer this nail on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and the walls are not all cement yet. And so you would like them not to be out of cement? Mm-hmm. And to rip out all the carpets and the upstairs like that carpet. I also wish it was a little bit smaller than this. You wish your room was smaller or the house? No, the house was smaller. Hmm. Why? No, no. I want house. So Banjo, what kind of house do you want to live in? Uh, the Logan house that we have. Really? Mm -hmm. What did you like about that house? Mm. Because I was a baby. <laughs> yeah. I like it and because if I lived in an already finished house then I would be sad that I wasn't the one who was able to decide what it looks like. Um, things like not having a counter space or not being able to put stuff away because we don't have any shelving. Those things are hard to deal with but at the same time it's just you just have to, so you get used to it, but I would, honestly, if somebody gave me a brand new house, I would, I don't know, the journey, honestly, is what I love about it. Because even if they gave me the house that I'm trying to plan right now, and that was done, I would miss the fact that we didn't get to be the ones to do it. I really enjoy doing it. <laughs> When you grow up, do you think you'll want to live in the country or in the city or somewhere in between? Um, the country. Why? So I can have a farm. Definitely um, in the country, but I would want to live um, pretty close to the, the city. Like, at most, like 20 minutes away because I still want to be able to, like, if there's like an emergency, I'd need to go to the hospital or something. But I still want to not be able to see or hear the city from where I live. That would be a must. The country. Why? Because it's more calm and 
you don't have to wait five hours to go get out of your driveway. Yeah, that was a problem in Logan. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> I don't mind hearing like tractors, but like when you can hear like the sounds of like just the city and stuff, it's obnoxious. I don't like it. <laughs> 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 Kendra, do you like living out here on a farm? Yeah. What do you like about it? Mm. Being fairies. Being fairies? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seven. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, Lizzie. Describe your dream home in the future. I definitely want it to be Tudor. It's gonna be tiny and it's gonna be a cement tiny, t tiny house. Oh, a cow mm -hmm. and pigs that stay tiny so they don't try to eat me. Mm. A lot of trees cannot let people to, um, Go to my house. Really? Mm -mm. I want it to have really big windows, and I want it to have a greenhouse with a pool in it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have a basement and a downstairs and a and a upstairs and an attic. I just will get the leaves off to um to go to the top. Call and go to the library and get books for my kids to read. Yeah. But they don't need to read because they're in heaven. Right now they are, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to build all my barns and I'm going to build a silo just for fun. <laughs> I don't even know what I'll do with it because I don't even know what they're for. <laughs> a really big garden and a huge, huge forest um, completely around it and covering the, like, the entire property. And then like a big pond with like fish in it and stuff. It'd be really cool. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> Actually, now I know what I'll do with it. I'll make it out of cement. And I'll go inside of it when, if there's a tornado. Actually, I might not have to because um, my house will be cement too. With a giant fireplace that you can fit inside. Not like a brick house, like, like rocks. Like actually made out of rocks? Oh, yeah, wow. like cement with rocks stuck in it. Oh, cool. And I also want to make like an outdoor kitchen with like like on my like patio or something and then I can cook outside without heating up the house in the summertime and I also want to have like a big herb garden and maybe like a balcony would be really cool and when you go inside it's just like this house but more brighter colors, like just other colors. It will have copper pots hanging on the wall. It will have cabinets above it. It will have a bunch of trees covering up my house so nobody can see how awesome it is. <laughs> so they won't be jealous. <laughs> and it's I awesome. might have... But they'll be jealous of your trees. Um, the only store-bought toy will be Legos. I'd love to have a yard full of trees, like a hundred acre wood type of a place, you know, a wild place where the kids could roam, heck, where I could roam too. <laughs> Banjo, what's your animal chore? Uh, my animal is dead. And the kitty? But what about what about our kitty that's alive? Lizzie, what's your animal chore? Uh, 
It's the pigs. Well, the, the pig. Oops. Oops. So Come is mine. So is yours. Mine's big at d in the morning time, and hers is my night time. Mine's at night. What's your animal chore, Everett? Chickens. You like it? Mm, yeah. What's your I favorite part about it? Um, seeing the baby chicks. Can you say yeah. moo? Hey, Daddy. Moo. Hey, what does Hammy say? Hammy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Did I believe he was a grandpa? <laughs> he was. <laughs> he was a grandpa kitty. <laughs> My animal chore is milking the cow. And I like it now that I know how to milk by hand. He really was. He really but was. He wasn't sounding like. He was like this. He wasn't no, sounding like that. No. <laughs> he didn't do no, like that. No. It was like this. Ow, ow, ow. What's your animal chore? <laughs> the humans. <laughs> <laughs> I love those animals. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was revealing. <laughs> it was interesting to find out what the kids really thought. I don't think we've ever actually asked them point blank like that. Of course, we we thought we... At least we, not recently. Not recently, yeah, true. So, we've enjoyed this a lot, and we hope you have too. Thanks. Thanks for joining us for it, and we'll see you tomorrow.